the real value of this department is measured by the impact we have on those lives we touch and the lessons we learn from those lives that touch us. This is Derek Donaldson. He is starting his fourth year as a firefighter at the Plainfield Fire Department, located 20 minutes just outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. He is currently serving at Station 121 off of State Road 267, located in the heart of the town. He and the rest of the department personnel are certified firefighter EMTs. He will now take us through a day in the life of a Plainfield firefighter. Warren. Bright and early. That's the fire station. Oh, you're <laughs> More boss. All right, so this is the ride out sheet. So it shows all the assignments for the day, where everybody is, and then the details, who's off, and if we have anything. Since today's a Sunday, nothing. Hey, how you doing, Adam? <laughs> We're on the engine. We're on the engine. That book size is more than you never know. Okay, so basically in the morning, after you find out what rig you're on, um, you uh, come outside with your gear, you get up um, from the seat that you're assigned. I'm assigned a back stepping seat on the engine, so I get all my gear ready. Um, and check off my pack. Make sure my pack's all right. Make sure that I put my accountability tag up front with the officer. And then we go clock in. Okay, all right, thanks. Medic and Engine Company 121 are currently the busiest fire apparatus in Hendricks County, carrying the bulk of fire EMS runs between the two. According to Hendricks County Fire EMS incident totals for 2008, the Plainfield Fire Department has a total of 4,316 runs. What we're doing right now is before we pull it out, we just go through it and double check and make sure that everything's there. They had a fire yesterday, so it's even more imperative that you make sure that all your equipment is here, you know, your hose is good, you know, your nozzles are here, that there's nothing major missing. Every morning, each firefighter is assigned a specific apparatus. They are expected to conduct a thorough inspection of the integrity, condition, and working order of all emergency lights, equipment, and mechanical and electrical systems. It's always important that after any big run or fire, the oncoming shift makes sure to check that all equipment has been put back in place and that the engine is fully stocked of all supplies. Any equipment that might have been used should be properly restocked, whether that be from a full tank of water and charged battery to full air bottles and plenty of oil dry. This is very important due to the fact that all apparatus have to be self-sustaining and able to provide its workers with all necessary and adequate equipment for whatever type of work that might be called upon them to carry out. The start of a shift brings a new level of excitement for the day. Most firefighters enjoy the ever-changing aspect of the job, 
The routine morning chores and checkoffs must be completed before breakfast. After that, the day can begin. When the bell is triggered by dispatch, firefighters listen for their assignment following the tone. Once the firefighters are situated and prepared for the task ahead, they are off with not a moment to spare. And thanks to the permission of Battalion Chief Vaughn, so were we. With a yearly run load of almost 4,400 calls, more than any other department in Hendricks County, the department protects and provides all ALS care to around 40,000 residents. The Plainfield Fire Department protects a very diverse landscape. In this part of town, there is a wide variety of homes, suburbs, and varying degrees of socioeconomical levels. On this particular run, a cardiac arrest occurred on the east side of town. The patient unfortunately did not make it. Not only are firefighters expected to stay up to date on their training of fire suppression tactics and patient care, firefighters are also expected to perform special details at community events. These include opportunities to be out in the public eye, teach, and interact with our youth. After fulfilling their duties at the station, the firefighters made a special trip to Arbuckle Park in Brownsburg for training involving low angle slope evacuation drills. This event was coordinated by the Hendricks County Rescue Task Force. This rescue task force was implemented in March of 2007 in order to consolidate county resources and manpower. With this form of training understood by each individual department, firefighters from all reaches of the county will utilize these same techniques in the event of a real emergency. The procedures employed on this day were used to simulate a rope rescue for a person that had fallen over an embankment or down into a ravine. The use of a Stokes basket, or litter, was used to carry a fellow firefighter impersonating a victim. This rope system is used to maximize the carrying capacity of the rescuers and ensure the safety of the victim within the litter. With this system in place, two to three firefighters can pull up to 500 pounds by themselves. With a typical run load of 10 to 15 runs during their 24-hour tour of duty, the firefighters enjoy the downtime taking the opportunity to relax and recharge. The camaraderie in a firehouse is unsurpassed, unlike any other line of work. Those who are lucky enough to have a career in public service understand the family aspect of the job. Mood remains laid back until the bell makes its alarming presence known. And when it does, Derek and his fellow brothers and sisters will be there waiting. Whether they're cleaning up a child's scratched knee or rushing into a burning building, when you call on them, they will be there, always ready, ever vigilant.